What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to this episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off from last time, I pretty much did just a bit of investing here and there, trying to figure out what I'm doing. And then I also attacked and destroyed an incoming uh, Austrian Navy f naval force, or amphibious force that was coming in to take Bonda my vista. ships. Um, the next step is to attack this fleet um, next turn. Uh, of the Spanish Navy, which is laying siege to my port in Cartagena, which has become the port on which all of my trade goes, which is interesting. Actually, no, it might not be the case, but either way, I need to sink. I need to sink this fleet of ships, and then I also want to get. Well, in a few turns, this force in Texas. No, actually, it'll be this force in Guatemala here is going to now actually yes now this force will be embarked onto the ships onto the sloop and land its force off the coast of Ham, off the coast of um, Cuba. And then before it gets sunk, it's going to go back to port. And this thing, this guy's going to recruit a unit of militia to keep this port free. And this army will attack Cuba and take it for the glory of the Mexican Empire. And it is tempting, tempting take Cuba and the land in Florida it does mean I am opening up a land border against the United States however at some point I will need to attack the United States so would I rather do it on a spit of land I can control or would I rather it be an amphibious assault somewhere along my borders I don't know I think I'd prefer the spit of land technology's going okay cadence marching am I bothered about cadence marching proves campaign movement speed which I like but well, I think what I actually want is some sort of... Let's do that. Cut down the cost of growing, getting plantations. And I'm not sure which one allows me to level up my plantations. Where is a plantation? Oh, steam engine. So I'm a ways away from that. Steam engine is... Machine tools, which is also wealth of nations. Okay. Cool. End turn. And I also did get kicked out of one of my trade theatres because the Russians attacked my fleet, which was undefended, which is fair enough. I knew that I couldn't uh, couldn't do it forever. Oh, the Spanish have blockaded me there. Oh, the Netherlands have opened up the British ports again. Excellent. And they've... Oh, good. The Netherlands are at war with the Russians as well. That's ideal. So St Sweden did... Ah, oh, Austria. I might try to see if I can sue for peace of Austria. Because Austria right now are determined to hold on, or determined to create some sort of um, colonial holding. And I'd very much like them to stop. Morocco... Morocco's become quite a little naval powerhouse. Keeping certain Mediterranean nations bottled up in ports. They've got the Ottomans. Yeah, I think ultimately I am going to have to attack Florida and claim it for the Mexican Empire. It does put me at risk of the United States eventually attacking me, but it's going to happen eventually. It could well end up in my favour. But I need to see how the... Your nation could be making more money through trade. Could it, AI? By Jove. Oh, so this fleet has moved from over here. Okay, so this fleet in here that is broken. Oh, I'm making no money. Because my actual is being blockaded and I cannot stop them for another turn. So let's move you over here. Yep. 
I am bankrupt because of this blockade. But I only have to put up with it for one turn. This force will attack Havana. Oh, now have a mortar unit. Oh, I'm gonna maintain siege for now. Texas, cool. My iPad is bonging like anything. Recruitment report, Spain, 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 Spain. Navy is that. Brigs and sloops. Well, I'll travel might I'll have to risk it. Let's see if I can push him off. Nope. Unfortunately, I did capture one of my sixth. Worth a gamble. So I wouldn't feel... I wouldn't feel comfortable fighting them myself, because I'm not that good. <laughs> Ooh, so Britain took it from Sweden. But yeah, so the, the Mughals got unthroned, dethroned, because of a rebellion. Mm. Ministers, objectives, no, not objectives. Building browser, I'm sure it's policies. Increasing this level of taxation not only makes the Hmm. Losing money because of bankruptcy. Well, looks like I'm going to have to scale back my plans of world domination for the time being. 48, give it to you. 123, good. Which means Mexico should <sighs> flirting with bankruptcy. Eh. So they're gonna sweep up that fleet. Hopefully this little damaged ship can actually no, although they didn't capture it, which is important. <laughs> These guys are resilient. Ah, uh, finally. Are they going to come down and blockade somewhere? Guatemala. But at least I'm making money again. That's what matters. Oh, oh good. So Britain have... Wait, have Britain moved against uh, the uh, United Provinces? Could well have done. That could be why they've got... Um... Oh, here come the Austrians. France is now a republic. France has undergone revolution and is now Republican France. Led by Napoleon? Do they get Napoleon in Empire? I'd hope so. No, Sweden, don't do that. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships.
I've just realised I've had my microphone muted for some time. Um, so, <laughs> hopefully it's only a few minutes. Um, but yeah, all I've been basically all I've been talking about is that um, I want my priorities to keep getting my navies back up to strength so I can sink that incoming Austrian force. Um, and I was a my, it was going to make peace of Hanover because it means there's nothing annoying is going to happen if I get like a random Hanoverian ship comes over, and I got more trade, which is good. Um, and like they are sallying out to attack me, which is good. So deploy backwards to get rid of the threat of the mortars, and then we'll be grand. Let's fight. It's merrily chatting away there. Oh nuts! <laughs> oh well, it happens. Day, what you can put off till tomorrow. That sounds not what you should do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, anyway. Okie dokie. Awesome. So deploy rearward of the fort. Deploy my Mexican infantry, and then let's deploy last unit of guns. Deploy my howitzers firing round shots. And then chuck my fusilieros onto the right to protect this gun emplacement. With a unit of militia as a bit of bulk. Give them all uh, trenches. Frontiersmen cannot deploy stakes, however. I'll Stick them both out on the left and give them cavalry spikes. Okay, unit of sars on the left, unit of sars on the right. General in the centre. Good, good. So the howitzer should be out of range. If they're not going to fire, they may as well punch a hole in them. Punch a hole in the walls. So where are they attacking? Where are they going to land? Can we attack inside the fort? Can my howitzer attack inside the fort? Suddenly not, they're out of range. Oh wow, I've sufficiently riled up that Union of Dragoons. When the dragoons come out, my main artillery will fire into them. Well, I may as well do it now. By the time my by the time my guns are ready, the doors will be open. Oh, call off the attack. I'm gonna speed up time a bit because right now they're still working out what they want to do. Determined to destroy the building they already have. Let's get 
ready to fire. Yeah. Okay, so they've destroyed that wall. Oh, they are firing. They are going up and over. Well, blow a hole in that wall, I suppose. And get them to also fire on it. So I can send my... Oh, I was about to send my Hazars in there, but I didn't trust them against the Clone of Dragoons. Yeah, just let that run for a minute. Still nothing moved. They do get that they attacked me, right? Well, you know what? Well, nuts to this. I'll limber up. go. Fuel artillery going to open up. Well, my guy's going to open up on the fuel artillery crew. Just this, just the officer. Don't mind me. Get one unit to sit here and deploy square to stop any cavalry coming out of the walls and then send one of them up to scale the walls, I suppose. There you go, run these guys up into position. This unit on the left is going to get shot to bits. Run right up. Then form square. Let's flatten this bit out a bit. There we go, firing onto the flank of a militia. 
Oh, there you go. The square's even f f providing fire support against the junior militia. to their arse in line. Oh wow, they are... There we go up the pop. There we go, the last handful of men up the walls. Got there, man some firing positions onto them. Throw the line forward, I suppose. Hazards are there. Hazards on the right. Straight on in. Chase them down, chase, chase them down on my hazards. Now hold them back for now. Oh wow, these are all just their horses. They are on foot. Charge out and have him.
God, my PC is already breaking just trying to reconcile these small amounts of combat. Yeah, so as I outlined in my um, channel update, I am going to be up looking at buying some upgraded parts. My CPU should be okay. It's an 074790K, um, but my graphics card and definitely my RAM are the, uh, the weak spots here. If I just pull them back from the gate, how much better does that make it? That's appalling, it really is. Yeah, this isn't something. There you go, get back inside the house if it's going to make everyone feel bad. Nah, you carry on charging them. Executing the general. Firing a squad against a wall. You're running their gun, running their horses and wagons up onto the walls. Have we killed the general? That lucky swine. How many bullets have been fired at him and he's still okay? Let's end it there. To be honest, it should, if there's any sense, mean I've. I mean, their army's routed and I'm literally in control of all the gates. Yeah, I was gonna say, anything else would be insane. But good. Cuba is mine. You know, Provinces are gonna fight the British. Oh, oh, the Danes got pushed back by a single United States ship. How embarrassing. Okay, need to send the navy out to go deal with them. Because that's the only way I'm going to actually maintain my empire in any reasonable way and not have to derail all my plans just to keep dealing with one single weak uh, navy. Tempting to capture Hispaniola and then give it to them and just to get them off my back. Because they'll have their colonial they'll have their colonial holdings then and I can there finally is a port in this region that has not yet been They will finally leave me alone. Okay, so last time you were out about here. So I sc oh, scout with my sloop by accident. There they are. Fifth and a fourth. Oh, sorry, hit the microphone. Good. Send this fleet up to knock them out. Yeah, I'm going to quickly fight it now. Um, oh, good. For a minute there, I thought my game had crashed. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just over the end of a part. Should be the start of the next round, but ultimately ships. So let's do fourth, fourth, fifth, 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 fifth. No, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, fourth, fifth, fifth, fifth. Group. Set them line of stern. Come over here. Reinforcements. Oh, the galleon. Oh, he's literally sailing into the wind. 
but I'm more than happy just to let him be him. Trip speed. Attack towards them for a little bit. So let's have a look at you. So that's the fifth up front, and there's Flunder. There was, we already have a Flunder somewhere. Augustus and Carlos Tigra, Conus and Carlos Tigra. Flunder, he was a fifth. Now Flunder's been upgraded. Yeah, I definitely attack towards <coughs> towards them a bit before I before I spin off in this direction. Just to close the distance and start to get within to get within chain shot range. There you go. I think you need to do that now. Put me in round shot range towards the fifth, and then towards the the, the fourth in Flunder. I'll start to get within round shot range, uh, chain shot range. Sorry. Although, am I within chain now? Don't think so. No, yeah, extreme range, but within range. He's got all his sails deployed, so... Lovely. Poke some lovely holes in him there. Same with you. I'd rather lose a bit of mobility. I'd rather make them lose a bit of mobility on their ships first. Good. No, oh, I think the <clears throat> the deal is usually always to scoot round. If they can fire off their guns. Oh, I fire the broadside wrong. Hit the mast. Round shot for when you come back around. There you go, keep people flying round shot. Your guns are not loaded. <clears throat> but soon. There we go. There you go, go round shot for looping around again. The fifth is, is routing, which is excellent. Fourth, you are on chain shot duty. You will become ch on chain shot duty. Good, your gun's reloaded. Reloading, they are. <clears throat> right, so then get on to round shot. Larcona will be within round shot range. No masts yet. No dismasts, sorry. There you go, fifth surrendered. Get him on chain. Get him on chain. There you go, now he's in the round shot range, and as will um, Tigre, Tigre. Main must down. Round shot, load your broadside. Augustus has surrendered and he is. Ah, sinking. Sadly, I've lost. The chance to capture that fourth. Thunder is rounding, but he's definitely going to get a broadside from this guy. Continue. Detach you. Make to board the fourth. But let's see if this broadside of 23 guns does the trick. Surrendered. So lost of they've lost the fifth.
Awesome. Welcome to the line, Flunder. Again. Where's Flunder the fourth? Flunder the fourth. Flunder the second. Sí, señor. Then let's get this navy back to port for repairs. Orden? Then get this. Oh, shoot this galleon back quickly. Okay, so firstly, construction. Commercial basin. Will be a worthwhile investment for Mexico. Mexico is now. There we go. War in awareness is going down, bankruptcy is going down, clamour for reform is going down. Let's see a need. Frustrating your mind to dismantle this dockyard. Turn into a fishing port until Until um, this town is developed. Dismantle the dockyard. Because I do have a dockyard elsewhere, don't I? Or do I? I don't think I do. Well, I need to gap my naval production. Turn this to a fishing port to smooth out the food problem. Until I get Villa Hermosa built so I can make it into a happiness building to offset the clamour for reform. I think I need to do because I'm quite far away from secular humanism. I am indeed. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Even though my, my new farms are online, which has helped 1.3%, but how much will this help? None. Construction problem. Plus two. Advanced irrigation is what I'd need to do. I'm going to deal with it in the short term and then then swift change my new Granada. New Granada, instead of doing seed drills, go to advanced um, advanced um, irrigation to get me that boost and then reduce the chance of food shortages. Because that's what this is, I think, pretty much. This counts as this is where it is a food shortage. Zero predicted. Wicked. So Cuba has been captured. Rebuild the governor's encampment. And replenish my troops. Excellent. So you have a commercial port. I'll upgrade you to probably to another commercial port. So that we're making sure we are exporting all of our goods. 17,000. 17,000. Let's see if I can... Nope. So they definitely well they want New Granada this time, which is Bogota. Hmm. Anyway, look at the time. That's definitely time for the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.